Thank you, Kat, and an inspiring performance there. Now, they say that behind every great man, there is a great woman, and it's certainly true in the case of former South African cricketer and international coach now, um, of course, working in India last, Gary Kirsten, one of my sporting heroes. His wife, Deborah, has just released her book, Chai Tea and Ginger Beer, which gives readers a peek into their life. And she's with us today to talk about what I would imagine has been an unbelievable journey for both of you. <laughs> Debbie, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Graham. Lovely to be here. Um, I've, it's been awesome connecting with you. I, I had to blurt straight out that I'm an absolute fan of Gary <laughs> and, and by virtue of that fact, a fan of yours because you are very much a united friend. So congratulations on both of your successes and on this incredible book, Three Weeks on the Shelves. How do you feel seeing your creation out there now for the world to share? <laughs> terrifying actually <laughs> you suddenly realize you've like put yourself out there and it's a scary place to be but it's exciting and it's um the subtitles an unexpected journey and i don't know what was more unexpected the sort of journey of the life and the book or actually the journey that it's now taking me on so it's wonderful to be here thanks why now what what was the tipping point i know you, you've been a writer this um, might have been on the cards for a long time what was the the decision kind of to to do this now yeah um, I got approached to write a book and being a freelance uh, journalist, I l obviously love writing. But I think I, I realized that there's a great interest. People are always ask me, what is it like to be married to an international cricket player or sportsman? Or what is it like to be, you know, traveled India with the cricket team and um, have got a taste of, of that and being a coach's wife? So I always knew the intrigue was there. and. Um, so I think it was kind of saying, well, people want to know about it, and they want to know about it possibly from a different perspective. You know, what about from a wife's perspective? How do, how do you manage the family? How do you manage a marriage under those conditions? So, that, so I thought, is this really is a first. A whirl. We've never seen this. I mean, the, the shelves are littered with autobiographies, but we've never gotten it from a wife's, from a female perspective. <laughs> what, what has, I know it's difficult to summate, and we're going to have to get the book to be able to get the full story, but what has it? been like? How have you found that balance, having three kids, being able to manage what is a crazy schedule? How did you find that balance? Graham, I think balance is key. And you, you, you use that word, and I think finding a life balance between work, between play, between family, between um, just managing for us home time, travel time, time together, time apart. So yeah, that, that really has been key, is trying to um, manage the less glamorous side of what of, of life people think oh my gosh it's glamorous amazing life of international travel and superstars and sportsmen but there is another side to it and I like to think that the struggles that we've had to try and overcome as a couple as a family I think they're struggles that a lot of people have you know most of my friends have husbands who uh, travel so, and most men are trying to juggle their work with their family. So these are all issues that I look at in the book. Now you slip into this role quite, quite smoothly. We know Gary's used to being the center of attention. What's that been like for you? How did it feel at the book launch? Now you being <laughs> the spectacle, you being the main story. Also scary, <laughs> uh, but, but it's been fun. It's been great. Gary's so, so supportive of this journey. He's been so supportive of the book. And obviously that my time, uh, writing the book was um it was hectic there were a few day times when i had to just actually just get away and just find three days to write so gary had to just completely take the reins and um play mom and dad and so he, he got a good taste of what i've done for the last <laughs> 10 years i love the title it makes it more accessible it really does kind of show a different side to what you're writing but how did you arrive at the title chai tea and ginger beer yeah. <laughs> well, um, that's been the most asked question, and I'm glad because I wanted a title that was sort of quirky, that would just intrigue people a little bit. And really for me, the, the title sort of summarizes two major elements of the book. Ginger Beer, I grew up in a very nurturing, amazing uh, home with strong roots, strong Christian values. and. Um, Ginger beer was something that was part of our childhood. My mom used to make copious amounts of home-brewed ginger beer made with lots of love and patience. And that sort of comes to signify the, the root side of the book, the family side of the book, the home side of the book. And then chai tea, for anyone who's ever visited India will know chai tea is offered at every conceivable occasion or meeting or negotiation. It's sort of a little cup of sweet uh, masala chai tea. And um, so that really kept came to sign signify 
India, um, the exotic parts of the book, the book uh, parts of the book that look at travel, and really how we as a family were so warmly welcomed into India and by the Indian people while Gary was coaching. Well, you know, speaking from a South African's perspective, knowing how much we love you, I can understand why. <laughs> um, you've given the country a huge service. You, you really have been a wonderful example to, to so many of us. I, I feel like a complete groupie now meeting you today, so thank you so much. Please send our best to Gary, but I know we're going we're gonna to push you into the kitchen now and you're going to whip up Yay. some of that, that ginger beer made with love. Mom's ginger beer. <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, thank you so much. All Thanks, the Graham. best with the, the book. It sounds like a fantastic read. I can't thank wait you. to sink my teeth into it. Oh, um, and, and enjoy your experience in our espresso kitchen. <laughs> Thanks, Graham. All right, we're going to be um, coming to terms with this beautiful ginger beer in just a moment, but let's see what else is coming up on the show, Kat.